Good morning. On behalf of the RDIEC, uh, my name is Jeff Cameron, and I would like to welcome Mrs. Krista Wittemeyer from Oxbow Prairie Horizon School. Mrs. Wittemeyer has been a, a school administrative assistant for many years now, and uh, she would like to uh, share her story uh, about being in the school and uh, everything that goes along with that. Uh, before I begin, though, uh, I'd just like to mention to the students that if you are watching this, uh, you can enter to win a gift card. Um, it's $50 just by uh, clicking on the uh, item within the poster. Take her away, Krista, and thank you very much. Hello, everybody. My name is Krista Wittemeyer, and I am a school administrative assistant for the Oxbow Prairie Horizon School which is a part of the Southeast Cornerstone School Division. Um, a little bit about myself. I grew up in Oxbow, Saskatchewan, where I graduated from Oxbow Prairie Heights School. After graduation, I attended um, SAIT in Calgary for petroleum engineering. Shortly after that, I moved home and started a family and thought, what am I gonna do? I don't think that I can go out in the oil patch, so, I decided to make a big spin and change my life up, and I became an educational assistant. I took a course from the Southeast Regional College in Estevan, and shortly after that, I became an educational assistant at Oxbow Elementary School in 1998. So I was quite young when I started that. I worked with students in classes from kindergarten all the way to grade eight. And then some things changed in the school and I became an administrative assistant at Oxbow Prairie Heights School in 2008. Then in our small town, we um, had the opportunity to build a brand new school. So our schools amalgamated, the Oxbow Elementary School and the Oxbow Prairie Heights School became one in 2011. And that's when I became the administrative assistant at Oxbow Prairie Horizon School, where I, where I am today. So I have been working for the school division for about 24 years, and it's been excellent. Um, I wrote a few things down about my job as an administrative assistant. There are some job qualifications. Um, you must have your grade 12 diploma, knowledge in the operation of computer programming and school software. Um, school software has changed over the years. They do um, an excellent job of training us in those different divisions, but having knowledge in the computers, it, it is a big asset. Um, knowledge of basic accounting practices. We have the responsibility of looking after a lot of the school accounts, um, so that is a major asset as well. Um, also knowing the English language is, is a big must. Um, I know we have a lot of um, new people to the community and whatnot, but understanding the English language helps out a lot. And of course, some job um, qualification assets would be having specific training for one year as an office administrator or in the business training at an institution would also help out. So administrative assistant, um, <laughs> there's a lot of job skills and abilities. We are basically the heartbeat of the school. So we have to be on our toes. You must have very good interpersonal and communication skills. So being it on the phone, being able to talk to people with an accent, understanding and trying to understand what the issues are that people are phoning you. You have to really be on your feet. Also with email, you have to be able to professionally answer and deal with a lot of different things that come your way. Um, having strong listening skills and the ability to carry out directions is also something that's very much needed to be successful in this position. You have to really take the time to listen to people and work on the fly. Um, that's where time management comes in. So you must be able to do many things at once. Um, you have to be able to put one thing down and pick up where you left it. If, if an emergency comes or the bell rings and things, 
there's a big mix up or so you just have to be very good at managing your time and getting things done. Um, the ability to work as a team player with administration and staff. That's a big one. In our school, we have about 40 staff members. We um, have to work with lots of different personalities, lots of different people who have different skills and abilities. So you have to kind of know who you're working with and how, how to effectively make the place run smoothly. You also need to be able to work independently and get tasks and things finished. Um, problem solving is also a big one. Um, problems come across my desk all the time. And even if I don't have the answer, I'll have kind of solutions or next step decisions on what pe people can do to continue on and move to the next step. Um, the ability to maintain strict confidentiality. We live in a small town and it's very important that everything at my job stays confidential. That is a big, big part of being successful in, in being an administrative assistant. Um, the ability to deal effectively with the public. So we deal with a lot of parents. We deal with the town of Oxbow. Um, we have to do that on a very professional level. Be task and goal orientated, needing to get deadlines done, needing to get jobs done. That's a big part of our job as well. And all while displaying a professional appearance and um, a positive attitude as well. So there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes of an administrative assistant. Then there's a lot of duties and responsibilities. I don't just answer the phone, but that is one of the duties and responsibilities we do have. Um, there again, we have to perform verbal and written communication to parents and we, it needs to be understood, simple, direct, also to teachers, there's deadlines that we need the teachers to follow through with, and we need to do that in a very professional and basic way. Um, perform, perform clerical duties, so just every day-to-day -day things, and like I said before, operate computer-based programs. When the power goes out, I basically can't do my job because so much of it is on the computer. So we have to enter and maintain data and generate reports that maintain the school financial records. We look after all of the school money, be it SRC, sports teams, it all flows through the office. So we have to be able to manage and maintain and make sure everything is organized for financials in many different situations in the school. Um, we, we complete purchase orders so that we can order different supplies needed by the school and the teachers and the students. Um, we support the administrative procedures. So we work alongside with the principal and vice principal and follow through with anything they need help with. Another big one is student attendance. Our attendance it comes in many times a day. We make sure that students are where they need to be. If parents need to be contacted, we are right on top of that. So no students go missed in this building. We provide minor first aid and minor supervision. And we deal tactfully with staff, students, parents, and the public. So we are a jack of all trades. With every job, there comes some challenges. So right now, it's the worst I've ever seen. We are very short on substitutes. So if someone is watching this video and would love to get their foot in the door, we'd love to have you join our team and put your name into sub, see if you like it. Um, as I spoke before about the confidentiality, there are boundaries in a small town between work and life balance. I get a lot of messages on the weekend. Can you open the school? I need my shoes, which I have to really watch myself because that can be a, an abuse as well. Um, being the go-to problem solver. People think that I have all the answers, which sometimes I think that I do, but I definitely do not. But that's where being a versatile, trying to make everything run smoothly. We are the person to go to, but sometimes it can be overwhelming. Um, being an administrative assistant, I find myself sitting a lot. So I 
I miss that physical activity and I jump at the opportunity to run a note down to a classroom or get out of my out of my desk. So that is one of the job challenges as well. Dealing with difficult personalities. I deal with many, many different personalities on a daily basis and I try my best, but sometimes that can be challenging. And balancing a heavy workload and being able to shift from one thing to the next, that can be difficult as well. And sometimes there's a lack of privacy. I'm kind of on display for the whole school to see. So if I'm having a rough day, it's hard to hold that back and carry on and be professional. But those are some of the challenges. And of course, there's some great advantages. The school holidays and the work hours are awesome. I was able to raise my family and be a part of their everyday activities after school holidays I could enjoy all their sports and things like that it is an absolutely wonderful per, uh, positive atmosphere and workspace I couldn't ask for a better place to work um, I've built many relationships over the years with lots of individuals who have come and gone and that's a great opportunity another great thing is watching students develop and grow throughout the years like I said, I've been here for 24 years, and it's just wonderful to see the students grow into wonderful adults. Um, focusing outward, that's a, that's a different thing. In today's world, many people lead um, busy, fast-paced lives, and it's easy to become self-focused. So this job really pushes me to focus outward and give energy towards others, and that's a big plus for me, which goes into community involvement. I like to know what's happening in the town. And this is one place that keeps me on my feet and keeps me enjoying things in our community. And we do have health, health benefits. So that is another big plus in the workforce. So yeah, my life didn't necessarily go as planned because I was going in to become a petroleum engineer, but I just suggest to everyone, keep your options open. Success doesn't always mean money. I've had many successes in learning to meet new people and enjoying my, my job at Oxbow Prairie Horizon School. And don't forget to apply to become a paraprofessional substitute if that's something that you would enjoy doing. So thanks so much for having me today. It was great to talk and yeah. Well, thank you so much, Krista. Oxbow Prairie Horizons is very fortunate to have you. Uh, the students are very fortunate. The uh, staff, um, you take a huge role above and beyond your, your administrative position, and everyone in our area knows that. So thank you very much. I'll open that up uh, for questions from anyone else, if, if there are any. Sounds good. Hi, Krista. Um, that was an awesome presentation. Boy, you um, nailed a lot of points that I think are very interesting for students to, to know. Uh, the one question I have is about your actual education uh, to become an office uh, administrator. You talked about um, the, uh, the Southeast Regional College. What does that what did that actually entail, just so students are aware? So I took an educational assistant um, training through the college in Estevan. And once, so in our school division, once I got my foot in the door with our union, then I could actually go on to become a librarian or education or a admin assistant or like there's a little bit of room to grow or switch positions once you're in the union. So if you wanted to become an um, admin assistant, there are some computer program tests that you have to pass, but I didn't actually take any training to become an, an admin assistant. I was already in the union, so I got bumped up to this job, which was great. And I passed those tests to get to where I am today. How long, how long was the course that you took? Um, um, it was about two weeks and we went a couple times a week. That was a long time ago, but it was, it was about two weeks long and we went in the evenings and on the weekends and it was great. I learned a lot about students. I was able to raise my children and with much more knowledge. I was a young mom and I was able to raise my children 
as I learned to become an educational assistant. It was great. That's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. I, I think it's important for students to know that, you know, there are courses and there are short courses too that they can take yeah. um, that would really benefit their, their trajectory to into a profession. So that's great. Thank you. Um, Krista's office is open to a huge foyer and that's the hub of the uh, high school and the elementary and all, all the kids gather there. And of course her desk is right there. So she's a very integral part of recesses, noon hours, uh, kids trying to leave the school, I guess, Chris, yeah. huh? some high school kids leaving out past your office and uh, so forth. So on behalf of the, the division and the RDIC, thank you very much. It was a wonderful presentation and I'm sure it's going to give a lot of students out there some ideas. Kevin, do you have any questions? Well, just to, just to, I guess, I guess you kind of mentioned it here. So most of your learning how to do the job itself has been, you, you kind of learn on the fly and, you know, as, as something comes and is that kind of the yes. best way to describe it? Yes. Yeah, I've learned. They've ch changed our computer program a few times and it, it does help if you're a quick learner. Um, I ask lots of questions. I'm on top of things. So it does help to be very organized um, and just open to making mistakes and learning from them. That's one of the biggest things is just keep learning. And that's how I've become so successful. That's good, thanks. I've always admired people in your position because uh, you know, being a, in a school myself, it was, I, mean, I think we'd shut down if it wasn't for the admin assistants. <laughs> yes, yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> without a doubt. So anyhow, no, thank you so much for, for taking the time to be with us today, Krista, and uh, I'm sure we'll yeah, have some classes so out of Oxbow watching. Yes.